Let's go to Capitol Hill. Congressman Ron Paul uh, joins us now. Uh, Congressman, thanks for being with Thank us. You. Thank you. Uh, we have been talking extensively this week at CNN. Uh, first of all, we've been undergoing a stimulus project where we're going through the stimulus bill, 57,000 projects, and seeing where the money spent, whether it's created jobs. You haven't liked the stimulus bill from the beginning, from the first day it was even talked about. Right. Uh, let's look at it a year later. What, in your opinion, uh, has it done to the economy? Well, it's hurt the economy because even if you argue, as the administration does, save some jobs, we don't know which jobs were lost or which jobs could have been created if the people were controlling the expenditures, if the capital was delivered by individuals rather than by the government. Uh, so we could have had a lot of jobs created, but we don't know that. Uh, for the government to take a lot of money out of the economy and try to stimulate an uh, economy where it doesn't want stimulated, uh, it's, it's not a surprise that we're not having growth. So I think they're in a failed policy. And, you know, how long are they keep interest rates at zero percent before they think, well, maybe we're on the wrong track. <laughs> maybe well, what's it's the not right working. Track? What's the right track, Congressman? What would you let do? Because right now the, the White House is looking at, uh, at, at perhaps a shift in direction or at least communicating one. What's the right track for them? Well, I think the market should decide interest rates so that we go back to saving and the government quit wasting money, spending, running up deficits. Because if you uh, had higher interest rates, we would start saving again and we would pay down our debt and then people would make market decisions. Maybe they would invest when the prices of houses come down low enough and the market is liquidated, uh, then we'll go back to building houses and, and producing jobs again. Congressman, but, don't these... But we don't, need, we don't need more debt. And right Fair now enough. all we're doing is borrowing more money. But let's talk about this. The, the stimulus bill is uh, above $800 billion, according to the Congressional Budget Office now. It was 787 They added $75 billion. But really, uh, I've been looking at the, 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 the government's intervention since the beginning of this crisis, uh, somewhere above $4 trillion. Uh, and, and a lot of that is money that the Federal Reserve put into the housing agencies to keep mortgage rates low. And that's why we have 5% rates for a 30-year fixed mortgage. Isn't that better for recovery than, than raising interest rates? Isn't it better that we've well, got low mortgage prices? It, it delays the recovery because the, uh, uh, the liquidation of the bad debt uh, isn't liquidated. It's propped up. The people end up buying these securities and these derivatives of securities, and they're propping up a very bad system. So you want the prices of houses to come down faster and more dramatically. They should have done this a year ago. And now people are starting to buy these houses when they're so desperately cheap. And that's what you want. But uh, we do everything in Washington to prevent the correction. But when something is sick, you want to correct it. But governments can't do that because it doesn't appeal to uh, the politicians not to do anything. They have to do something, so they try to, uh, uh, you know, have a correction but we, or prevent the correction. We want the market to correct, and the sooner the government gets out of the business of allocating credit and creating credit and money out of thin air, capital has to come from hard work and savings. The rest of this is okay. nonsense. So it has nothing to do with capital. What do you want to hear from the president tonight, to, if you wanted him to go a little further in your direction? What would you want to hear from him? Well, next year we would not just uh, pretend we're freezing something a year from now, and, and we know that's not going to happen. But the country's not quite ready for free markets, and uh, so it's not likely to happen. But what should be said is we're cutting back on spending. Uh, we're going to get rid of a lot of programs. We're going to cut our uh, militarism around the world by 50 percent, and we're going to go back to free markets and, uh, and individual liberties and property rights and, and the rule of law and let bankruptcies occur and uh, liquidate debt and, and get the correction over with. Before, before the Great Depression, we used to allow corrections to occur, but since the Great Depression, we are compelled to reinflate all the time because we're destined to have the destruction of the dollar. That's my biggest concern. So I would say to Obama, don't, don't perpetuate this idea that printing money is a solution. And they all say, oh yeah, you're right, Ron, you're right about this, but we'll do that later on. But right now there's a crisis. But the crisis was brought on by too much spending, too much borrowing, and too much printing, and too low of interest rates. That's exactly what we're doing. You can't solve the problem by doing exactly the same thing. Congressman so I don't, see, I don't see the recovery coming very soon. Congressman Paul, good to talk to you. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you, Allie. Congressman Ron Paul joining us from Capitol.